Hi friends, today we have got the very good positive tendency in the market. So Bitcoin ETF is approved, quotes are updating their highs and there is a very good trend with the altcoins. It's about new partnerships, the new solutions and also smartphones for cryptocurrency projects and new wave of popular crypto memes. But how can we find the real leaders of the movement among all this flow of information? How to find something very interesting and attractive that will suit our portfolio the best. So, and in this video, we will discuss top 5 altcoins in my opinion and try to understand can they be useful to us and will they bring us the profit. So right now, like this video and subscribe to the channel and also check the link in the description and get to my dream team of traders. Send me the code word private into my personal telegram messages Emma Trader on. And we have already discussed some of these projects in my previous videos and you can find them on my channel. So let's start observing these top 5 altcoins and try to understand what will be the hype of 2024 and how to become a part of this hype. Recently, the Dencon update took place on the Ethereum network. As a result, the commission was significantly reduced for layer 2 solutions. And one of these solutions it is Starknet, the project that we are going to discuss right now. We have already discussed this project. It ranked 68th in the coin market cap ranking. Its capitalization is $1.5 billion, which is much less in comparison with other layer 2 solutions. For example, Optimism has a cap of $3 billion for $177 million. The Arbitrum is also higher. After the release, Starknet still has its potential. Capitalization remains the same, and the so called FAD, or bad news that prompts to sell this project to airdroppers who had received it makes me think that the project is now being bought out. We have already discussed this zone and also the even lower down move is possible that will get into these ranges. And this zone is the selection of positions on the Stark net. And here we need to learn how Bitcoin behaves to understand it better. After that, Stark net's potential is very big. Let's come from the average wellness. The minimum zone of the Stark net is somewhere around $6. That is, it is an increase of about 200% and also a very positive scenario is in the case of a large scale alt season. An increase in the capitalization of all layer 2 solutions will promote a move to $12. I have made my analysis based on the Starknet tokenomics, which is already available on some sources. For example, we can determine that in March 2025, only 1 billion 800 million tokens will be in circulation, which significantly increases the possibility that in this range of 7% in issue, tokens will be bought out and capitalization will increase by inflating a bubble. But it is always up to you. We have already talked about Starknet funds, Paradigm, Sequoia Capital, Pantera Capital, all related funds with exit strategy and asset manipulation, we know all these very well and are guided by it. Starknet is also being developed by a very technologically advanced and strong Starkware team that has successfully launched immutable X projects, exist on the market and successfully occupies its niche. Another interesting project that is really interesting to me it is Cosmos. The Cosmos project is a layer 0 blockchain with its ATOM management token, which is one of the most fundamental altcoins in this market. It is on the 28th place of the coin market cap with a capitalization of $4.5 billion and the price of $11.72. This is some upside to the price of the Atom, because if you look at the last bear market, the Atom was priced at $2 and even had $1. After that, there was a very good growth on Atom. It amounted to 39,000%, after which there was a decrease as a result of the last bear market by 86%. This result is better than many other altcoins, even from the top 100. Here the accumulation of Atom occurs and exits with very good wellness are possible. At least this is gonna be a return to previous highs during the alt season and all plans of the Atom, which we will consider next in detail. Also breaking high points and reaching $100, which is quite realistic for Atom, about 10 times will be a profit per position. And let's see how much this is realistic in terms of capitalization, because if we now have a capitalization of 4.5 million, then it will increase by about 10 times and will 
amount to 45 million. Let's see who occupies such wellness now, for example, Cardena, with a capitalization of 22 billion. But what kind of technological stake and technological background does Cardena and Dogecoin have, for example, and what kind does Cosmos have? I think we won't even compare it. We can also see which projects are already being developed on Cosmos, for example, Layer 1 blockchains, lots of dApps, for example, DYDX. For example, Cosmos released a new roadmap in 2024. The cost of the ecosystem in 2024 will be to attract blockchains, integrate with the IBC protocol and attract existing Layer 1 networks. If earlier Cosmos was a platform for the construction of Layer 1 networks and it really called for many Layer 1 projects to be launched on this platform and did everything for this, now Cosmos is focusing on attracting existing Layer 1 blockchains, for example such as Solana, because it accumulates liquidity avalanche because it also accumulates liquidity, etc. The second point is that Cosmos will increase the liquidity of its ATEM token. Cosmos was one of the first to work out the concept of liquidity and now they add potential value to their ATEM token, which will act as a collateral asset like Ethereum in the network in liquidity, loan, farming protocols, etc. ATEM is a very innovative technological project with huge potential. The next coin in our top list is DYDX that really switched from Ethereum to Cosmos. It ranks 67th in the market cap ranking and the capitalization is $1.5 billion. This is a decentralized exchange where derivatives are also traded and this is its main feature with a very clear interface. There are constant updates and this is really a very good alternative to centralized exchanges. It hasn't shown anything special on the bullish movement yet, because if we look at the non-logarithmic chart, we will see just the lowest values on DYDX. Since after the the release the token decreased by 95% as a result of the general bear market from 2021 to 2022, and now it is still at the bottom of the wellness. But if you open the logarithmic chart, the situation becomes much more interesting. We will analyze the volumes in conjunction with the price behavior. We see that there is a global accumulation in these zones, but it is also distributed to its movements, because here we may have some straight traders who enter, but then their assets are bought out, and we can see that due to the volumes and further movement that was here 113 percent was taken from these random people that is in these marks there is a global accumulation everything that is up to this zone and if an asset accumulates here then a major player will drive these marks much higher in order to sell it and create liquidity according to the capitalization of the token this will not be really super high volumes it is also worth noting that during the accumulation the fund tokens were blocked and now they are starting to unlock both from the point of view of tokenomics and the point of airdrop and just trade traders, this is a very interesting situation in order to accumulate an asset in one's hands and further manipulate the price. If you look at the funds, we will also see all the familiar funds. These are Paradigm, Andreessen Horowitz, Polychain Capital, Electric Capital and many others. What factors can lead to an increase in the price of DYDX? First of all, regulation that can suddenly collapse on centralized exchanges. And we see such a trend, for example, in the proceedings of the Securities and Exchange Commissions and Binance. There is also a factor of the alt season and the fact that DYDX is still in its accumulation, but at the rather high level. Levels, there may be also be a factor of its further growth. Cyclicity in the hyperwares branches of the blockchain, for example, memes are actively being pumped now, but the DeFi protocols haven't shown anything yet. And another project that we really need to discuss it is Ethereum, and you remember that I have the full video about it on my channel. And of course, Ethereum. This is an asset with a huge fundamental component. There is a detailed video about Ethereum on my channel. The decline of the first cryptocurrency doesn't mean the decline of the entire crypto industry, but this is a risk that is certainly possible. The main insurance against this event will be the share of Ethereum in your portfolio. In addition, access to potential drops, staking, farming and other opportunities opens up. And the last very interesting and prospective project for me, it is Blur. 
Blur is also a very interesting project. It is a very promising project that has already taken away market share from the huge NFT marketplace giant OpenSea due to its successful marketing strategy. Zero commissions on its site, as well as airdrops and generous initial placement, as a result of which many managed to earn. Blur is a very interesting asset with a capitalization of $1.7 billion and a price of 58 cents. If you look at the capitalization, the tokens are being unlocked and get into the issue, and the capitalization is increasing. The price remains at approximately the same values, while the volumes are growing. Blur has every chance to attract more and more new users to occupy the NFT market, and if you bet that NFT hype will show itself in this bullish phase, then Blur is the basis that will help you to be a part of this NFT hype. In investors, we can see, for example, tier 1 funds as paradigm and tier 2 as e girl capital. And angel investors as well. There are almost 1.5 billion tokens in circulation, and according to the unlock scheme, just 1.5 billion tokens will be in May 2024, and the gradual entry of tokens in the future. And we can see that even the unlocks of investors and advisors didn't affect the market capitalization in terms of reduction and pressure on the price, which means that the token has a good chance of growth along with growth of popularity among users or among the new hype NFT. Let's talk about potential price points that Blur can reach as a result of an upward movement. We can see accumulation now and the maximum marks on Blur. Let's mark them. At least it was worth collecting in terms of capitalization an increase of half of the total blur movement. In this case, we can multiply the current capitalization by 5, which will result in 7.5 billion. It is quite realistic that the general growth of altcoins is based on the increase in the popularity of the NFT hype. It is worth noting here that this asset is not as fundamental as Starknet or as Cosmos, as Ethereum. Therefore, there are more risks here, and if you calculate it correctly in your portfolio, for example, you will allocate no more more than 10% of the total capital, then it will be able to bring you a positive effect with small risks. So guys, in this video I tried to put together the altcoins from various markets in order to make a balanced portfolio. Of course, there are risks always, and that's why this video is not the financial recommendation, it's just my opinion, but everything is up to you, and you can always ask me any question you would like. Write in the comments under this video what you think about these altcoins and what do you find the best one. Maybe you have your own altcoins that you would like to share with others. I mean, not to share the altcoins, but the information about them. So write in the comments everything you suppose interesting. And also find me in Telegram and write to me the code word private if you want to become a trader in my dream team of traders. So guys, like this video and subscribe to the channel. See ya in the next one.